What's going on riders? It's Paul with another ride home review and this week I watched Sorry to Bother You which stars Lakeith Stanfield, Tessa Thompson, Steve Ewan um, and directed by Boots Riley, written and directed by Boots Riley. But before I go into that, in case you've missed any uh, late movies coming out in the last couple years go to my YouTube channel they're all right there um, all on a playlist so subscribe to that so you don't miss one or like the page on Facebook and uh, every review comes out on uh, on Wednesday or if you're my Facebook friend you get a little bit earlier so well without all the bells and whistles anyhow um, Sorry to bother you. Uh, the story is about a guy who's trying to get out of his bad luck, tries to, finds a job, tries to move up. However, moving up into this position has some consequences. Um, so what do I, I mean, the story just doesn't, you know, that synopsis really doesn't do the story justice. And that's one thing I liked about it was an original story. It was an odd one, probably one of the oddest stories I've seen in a while. Um, very Twilight Zone-ish. Um, not unlike Get Out, uh, but it's not like Get Out. Um, um, I really liked the cast. I thought the cast was spectacular and it just really moved the movie. Everybody was in their character. Uh, it was just they everybody really had good chemistry it was just I mean that was really cool about that it was like everybody had their character in this. so the story and the the cast were just outstanding for this I mean technically it was all right it was nothing that stood out to you really um uh the thing that I didn't care for it also revolves around the story because I felt like it just you know it was funny um it was witty it had some really interesting elements to it very portlandia portlandia-esque in some some way shape or form but some of it just didn't resolve um it just didn't resolve itself you had something being introduced and it didn't really fizzle uh, fizzled out or it just went really long you know in the third act especially it just got kind of okay all right so i mean the finish of this film just didn't have it it really didn't um and so, but, you know, and that's, this is the way it is sometimes. I mean, it was, <laughs> but I mean, the thought process behind it, um, yeah, it was just, it had some weird elements to it. And, and uh, so, um, what to watch for, uh, um, basically there's some homages to some, uh, films that make you tense up. Like it makes some homages to get out. It makes them homage to uh, eyes wide shut. And there's a couple others in there, um, but for the most part, uh, uh, watch the picture that he has um, uh, that he always puts up with the guy in the car, and uh, it's uh, interesting. But yeah, too many loose ends, uh, some stuff that's just was like, well, where is this going, or what's going to happen here, or you know, yeah, just or something that just doesn't need to be there. But all in all. Uh, it was an okay movie, I would say. Uh, you know, you can you can wait on this one, um, definitely. Uh, but <laughs> uh, the humor in it, the cast is it's it's got some funny parts and some of the, some of the good lines they did put in the trailer, which I hate. But um, there are some other aspects to it uh, that were uh, interesting, and it was good to see Steve Ewan um, in a in a role again, uh, other than Walking Dead, but. There you have it. Sorry to bother you. In theaters now, uh, I give it a meh. So there you have it. Um, next week, I'm not sure what I'm going to go see. Maybe The Equalizer 2, which means i got to watch The Equalizer. I, I did not see that. So anyway. So until next week, watch some cool. Take care.